this video I'm going to show you the very first time the word f was used in a video game. Nowadays, swearing in video games is nothing surprising, but this was not always the case. Swearing really wasn't accepted in video games at all until the 90s when rating systems became commonplace. Originally, I wanted to discover the very first swear word in a video game, but the definition of what a swear word is is kind of fuzzy. It relies a lot on where and how you were brought up and even your cultural background. So that made finding solid information very difficult. For something that nobody's going to argue with, I decided on the first ever F-bomb, and that guy lives in here. This is actually a NES game. This game is called Bakuto Shi Paton Kun, which roughly translates to Explosive Fighter Paton. This is a Nintendo family computer, better known as a Famicom. This is the Japanese version of the NES. I reckon it's way cooler. As an expansion, Japan got the Famicom Disk System, which takes these three inch floppy disks. This disk system worked perfectly two days ago when I was preparing for this video, and now it has decided to just keep reading the disk over and over again without stopping. The Famicom disk system may just be the most unreliable piece of video game hardware in existence. Thankfully, I have other options. This is called a Sharp Twin Famicom. Sharp got the license from Nintendo to make their own unit, which is basically just a Famicom and a disk system in one package. These things are super cool. Hopefully the disk side of this still works. Yay! 1988. The first f in a video game. Such calming music for a game where you essentially murder each other with big guns. Let's have a game, shall we? Instruction or game start. Let's just jump in. I'm waiting. Sure, I'll just choose that one. Waiting again. Oh dear! Turn to side B and insert to f***ing box. There it is. The very first F-bomb in a video game. I actually found this accidentally a few years ago. I bought a huge bunch of Famicom Disk System games and I was testing them all because, you know, you can't trust floppy disks. And this thing just suddenly popped up on my screen. I laughed so f***ing much, I knew this was something special. Apparently, the disk system is a f***ing box. As far as I can tell, this is somebody who doesn't really know English trying to be trendy in a way that they don't understand. I will turn to side B and insert to f***ing box. And now we can start the nice relaxing murder. This game's a pretty typical tank combat game with a few extra features. Once you destroy your opponent's tank, they have to run around and try and avoid you. Eventually a new tank is airdropped in and they can get in it to keep playing. The same thing happens if your own tank gets destroyed. I can't let them get that tank. Yeah, there goes one of them. So now there's a spare tank. If someone gets their tank blown up, they can try and get that to keep going in the game. Hopefully it's not me. Although it's, ah, it is me. Each level is different and there are actually power ups, although they don't seem to appear very often. Is that a power up? Oh, I didn't get it. Oh yes, it is a power up. Look, I get to steer my bullets. The construction option is actually to make your own custom tank specs. You get 30 points to spread through speed, turn, range, and armor. You can test your tank with the player two controller. And your tanks get saved to the disc, so you keep them forever. Ah, I can't get through the nostrils. I've been collecting video games for a while and I'm often buying new things. I take a photo of everything I get and put it on floatplane. If that sounds like something you'd like to see, you can join me there. It's a dollar a month and the link's in the description.